Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As some of you might know, my name is Gail. I'm the owner of TheBargainsDent.com, the host of this channel and also the creator, The Bargains Den Studio. I got this order, I think a day or two ago, of course, and uh, this is the inspection. I had a hard time finding this item. As you guys know, I'm very disorganized. So I had no idea where this sneaker was. And it took me a minute to find it. Otherwise, I would have shaped it yesterday. But I would have still do the video as always. And now that I like for people to see it first before I shape it. it yeah, it keeps like, you know, it, I find a lot of headaches that way. So that's why I like to email the customer before I shape it. But anyway. I would have it ready yesterday, but unfortunately, I had no idea where I put it. Oh, this is stuff that I've stuffed inside the shoe to keep it from creasing, you see? And still stuff inside. And actually, I can use those to wipe it down because where I usually put shoe, I usually wipe them and put them somewhere, but lately, I haven't been doing that and I had no idea where I put it. Okay, and another, the other one. I'm just doing the inspection and taking it out so you can see it is clean and good condition, obviously. To be honest, most of my stuff are always gonna be in good condition. And not most, it's always all, but I like to say most because it keeps me out of trouble if I ever miss anything. And I don't miss much, as you guys can see. So, I'm going to do this. I don't know why I didn't do the video to this one. Okay, let's put this one in this side. And then, let's go back with this one. So, and I have the inside already prepared, like a video for the inside already done. But, I'm going to do the inside again. I, I changed the insole to another insole for that one. I don't know why I changed the insole for that one. And it has an insole, or is it? No, it doesn't. So, I changed the insole to that one. I don't know whether or not I purchased this one with butt insole, or it didn't have insole, but once I realized that like, it didn't have any insole, I think, I changed the insole, and I did mention it on the listing. I put a new one in, and this is what the inside looked like. We bought the insole. I don't know if you guys can see further in. So I changed it. Of course, let's put it. It's a size 15. It's a Nike Air Max. I think I'm getting the name wrong, but I will put it in there for you guys later on. So it's a size 15, yeah. And I had to change the insole because I had to buy one on Amazon because, again, probably because it wasn't with it or I may have ripped it off when I was cleaning the sticker. I'm not sure the reason I had to change the insole, but it's always one or the other. Is it that I didn't like get it with it or maybe when I'm watching it something happened to it or I misplaced it. We both know that I'm very disorganized so I think everybody knows that I'm very disorganized and I shouldn't be proud of it. It's not something I'm proud of but it's something I freely admit to because it's one of my flaws. When it's a flaw you either learn to live with it, fix it or just keep doing it and obviously I tried to fix it it didn't take and regardless of whether or not I could fix it I think I learned to live with it versus fixing it or doing any of those things I just learned to live with it okay so again we go into I'm unlacing it I will lace it when I'm doing the packaging I'm gonna send that to the customer so you can see it and then I'm going to do the packaging afterwards. Okay, so 
let's throw the inside first the flash is on so i don't know if that makes much of a difference or uh, we bought the flash or with the flash but okay so this is the inside again nothing is perfect but you know of course it could do it could be better and again this is the insole I try to make sure that it match as much as possible when I got it so yeah but they didn't have a Nike insole well they do have Nike insole on eBay but there is no way I was gonna pay for Nike insole because everything is a business just so you guys know if you have your own Nike and then you stop throwing it away completely if the insole is still good why not put it online and sell it of course like I mean Nike insole are a little more expensive and there's no way the sister was about to buy a Nike insole so I just bought a regular insole and put it in there not that I don't think if anything Nike is special it's just that I'm not gonna pay that much for the insole because on eBay it's a different price and besides I don't get a set I don't get a bunch of them I just get a few so that's why I just mentioned the insole was removed in exchange and if they want to add a new insole they can okay so this is what it looks like I probably should lace it but I'm gonna lace it in the second part I just want to show, show the inside the outside and then I will do the packaging when I come back and it should go out today depending on the customer's decision if he still want me to ship it out if he doesn't at least I didn't waste anybody's time I didn't waste his time I didn't waste my time so it all depends on the decision of the customer so here we go yeah, I know I'm supposed to be discussing other things that I put off to later, but I'm trying to be really, really good about just focusing on the item at the end. And then when I'm doing a random video, which I'm about to start doing again, I will discuss other things. I got busy, so since I got busy, I didn't do, uh, I kind of stopped doing the video because again, I got busy with life. I mean we, we all got, get busy with life so it happens so this is what it looks like should I do the lacing now let's see if I can do one of the lacing now and it's not that big of a deal because I left some on the inside so I can do the lacing now for this one at least one of them I'm just going over it again so you guys can see it and I did start doing video of this one but for some sick reason I didn't upload it again and I did touch it up I did touch it up because well it's my nature to touch up anything that I feel is not up to par if there's anything wrong with it I will touch it up not that I'm trying to make anything look not new it's just like it's my thing if I don't like how something look and it's gonna bother me I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do something to it that's all am I supposed to do anything with that I don't think so <laughs> I just wanted to know because you see that little bend in there I was wondering am I supposed to get the lace to it not get the lace to it I mean what's up with it that's something I need to discover when it comes to lacing certain items. Okay, let's do it on the outside so I can put the lace back on the inside. I'm thinking I'm getting this all wrong. Okay. I mean, it looks more polished when I get the picture. Maybe I'm missing something. Actually, yeah, I'm not missing something. I guess it was just me. to do much lacing to it it's just this and 
and again I will do another video when I'm doing the packaging but this is just to show the customer what the item looks like and I did unpopularly store it but it survived me if anything can survive me I think it's a good thing <laughs> probably should not laugh at that one but you know okay And I probably shouldn't be so proud of the fact that I'm more of a mess than I thought. Oh yeah, I claim all my flaws. They are flaws and they are mine. And regardless of whether or not I choose to accept them, they are part of me. So I decided a long time ago to accept them, obviously. And I don't care what other people think. Not that I don't care what you guys think, but it's part of who I am. So if there's something about me that most people is going to judge me on it, good for them. But at least I know that I accept myself fully. I have an accent, which some people have pointed out, obviously. And I'm like, what the hell for me? I'm from Haiti. So if you're going to point out a lot of things, you can point out some other things. But it's a free country. So good for them. But anyway, enough rambling. Again, let's focus on the sneaker. And wait, did I? I guess no, I didn't miss that. Yes, I like to make it like you know, so it can be uniform. Okay, and I know I mentioned that I'm from Haiti already, so you guys already know that. So here we go. Oh, I did the lacing, so I guess I'm not gonna do. I'm I'm not gonna lace it on video. Well, actually, I'm lacing it on video right now, so I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna have to do the packaging now. Not have to, but I need to do the packaging. So I'm gonna let the customer see it, make his decision, and then I'm gonna ship it out. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Okay, that's like a little white cloth. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Bye.